Greetings ladies and gentlemen and fellas from the interwebs, my name is DJ Ignite and I'll be your host for this evening. Uh, I'm not really a DJ at all by the way, and neither are you, so let's just get that cleared up. Um, in this episode, this is episode 3.1 by the way, um, Effects, which is part of series 3. What we're going to do is we're going to locate and use some useful effects, or some of my favourite effects that I use in FL Studio, like Edison, Fruity Compressor, Fruity Delay, Fruity Filter, the Parametric Equalizers, and the Reverb. And we're going to use them in our little tutorial song here. Um, we might even get into all of this today as well, because this is quite short, and using more than one effect in the same mixer channel, I'll pretty much cover that. And basic automation, which I'll probably cover that as well, so don't go... You might not have to look for a 3.2. Uh, so yeah, this is 3.1, and let's get into it. So, what I've done, what I did in the previous, in 2.1 and 2.2, is I made this little, this basic little song here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I press F9 to open up this using the keyboard shortcut. And what we're going to do is we're going to assign these instruments to their own little insert channel. And we're going to use different effects to try and create a bit more depth for the song. So some of these have already uh, auto allocated themselves, but we're going to do it ourselves. So FL keys, click on that, and 1. Done. So that is now insert one. We're going to click on that and press F2 on our keyboards so we can rename it uh, piano. Simple. And we're also going to give it a color by clicking on this little square at the corner here. We're going to make it blue. And to accept, you just press enter. And there you go. Piano and it's blue. We're going to go onto the kick. We're going to make that, oh, excuse me, number two. Do the same thing. Click on it. Right click. Type in kick. And we're going to give that this top left caller color here which will be for all of our drums click on this make it three you can also make all of the drums just number two and your effects will affect all your drums but for the sake of this I'm going to do it like this actually what I will do is I'll assign the hats and the claps to the same uh, insert so I'm going to rename to hats plus claps there we go. Are you going to change for me or are you going to be a retard? Oh, maybe it doesn't like the plus symbol. That would be the case. And then our snare will have number four, which are already auto allocated for it. Snare. And, yep, yeah, same colour again. Beautiful. So now when we play see our piano working, our kick, and our hats and claps, and our snare will come in. Well, that's what happens when you move the master pitch, by the way. Cool, so now that we've done that, we're going to give the piano a bit of reverb and beef up that bass line a bit. So we're going to click on piano and we're going to insert over here. We're going to click on the drop down and we're going to insert a reverb, uh, create some reverberation for the piano. So we're going to find reverb two. Let me just show you the difference between the old style of fruity reverb, which is this, and the new style of fruity reverb, which is much nicer looking. So in this, you just have a whole bunch of encoders and you change the values accordingly. In this, you can move the space itself and give it how many walls you want. Oh, it's fucking amazing. I love Reverb 2 because it is far nicer, in my opinion. So we're just going to fuck this one right off. Go to None, and that's gone. And you just click on the name to bring it up, bring up the property. So let's play it and see how that sounds on its own. And I'm going to go to pattern 1 and just play pattern 1 on its own so we don't hear any interference from the drums. I 
that's not too bad. Let's see what happens when we put some reverb in with a kick. Excellent. Let's see how that sounds. Eh, not too bad. The piano can use with a bit of bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a parametric equaliser. Once again, there's two of them. There's one and then there's two. So I'll show you the difference between the two. There's the old one. And the new one is much nicer. Not for the fact that it's got a pretty little background, but the way it displays the sound. This way actually shows you uh, where all the frequencies are and how uh, predominant they are. Excellent. We'll bring that volume back up. Oh, I just moved the master pitch again. <laughs> Turn that one off. Alright, that's not too bad. I don't mind that. What else was I supposed to show you? Ah, oh, the delay feature. Alright, we're going to do that with the snare. We're going to add in a delay which is an echo. Now you see that there's pretty delay 2, meaning there should be a delay 1 kicking about somewhere, but I can't actually find it, so that's probably a good thing anyways, because although this isn't for, uh, very appealing, I don't want to know what the first one looks like. Now what delay does is, when it hears a note, it uh, plays it again, over and over again, depending on the timing and the volume and a whole bunch of other factors. So just over here where we have the snare on its own in pattern 4, we're going to play that. So you see what it sounds like with it off. So that's turned off the delay now. And then, now we'll turn it on, see what we get. See how that's just fading away? We can also speed up the time. Or slow it down, whatever that one did. That slowed it down. On top of that, we can add in another delay, wherever it is, and we can have this one in as well. I always press ping pong, uh, p pong there. That's the feedback. Instead of it playing the same, the sound equally in both speakers, it's going to bounce from the left speaker to right speaker only a little bit, not completely. So it just gives it a little bit more depth in that as well. At the same time, we're going to slap in a bit of reverb, just to give that a bit more echo. Beautiful. 
Beauty. And I kind of don't like how that's so bassy, so I might turn the pitch down a bit. Turn it down a bit more. There you go, that'll do. Excellent. Now, for the last four minutes, I'm just going to show you a bit of quick automation now. Um, now, you probably would have noticed this little build-up of ha uh, snare is really, really bad sounding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell FL Studio to turn all of these delays and reverberation off when this part here is playing. To do that, I'm going to go to an all, a pattern altogether, which will be pattern 9. I always use pattern 9 for automation. It's just a good habit to select one pattern that you use for all of your automations. And that way, every single song, you'll know that, you know, where's the automation? Oh, it's in the same one that I have in every single other song. Um, if you start, if you put automations in other patterns, let's say pattern 6, then when it's repeating like, oh, hang on, we'll do it with pattern 2. If you have the automation in, say, like pattern 2, which the automation goes throughout the whole song, um, you see how pattern 2 here starts again, over and over again? Yeah, well, your automation will start every single time, over and over again, and then you'll get conflicting automations, and then it'll sound really bad. I would show you what a conflicting automation sounds like, but it's hard to do on purpose. <laughs> it's sort of one of those things that you'll be like, well, I didn't tell you to do that, and then you'll sort of realise, oh, I've got two automations, and they're both doing something different each time. So I was just going to jump from one to the other. So, to do this, pattern 9 will be our automation. We're going to press back. We're going to be in song mode for this. I'm going to press the record button. And when I get to this point here, or just a bit before, I'm going to turn them all off. And then, when it gets to the end, I'm going to turn one of them back on. I'm going to go back a bit, press play. And when it gets to the end, I'm going to turn the other one back on. I'm going to go back again, press play, and then I'll turn the last one on. And what all that'll do is that'll tell FL Studio when I want each of these three to turn on. And it won't re record the repeating process that I'll do. So I'll show you in a second. The countdown's on as well. So if you watch closely, you'll see all these turn off when I turn them off, and then they'll all turn on at the very end. Easy. And there's our pattern nine there, because that's where stuff started getting changing, uh, started getting changed during the song. So if we double click on that, we'll see the values. Mutant solo for each thing. So it's off and on. Very simple. Very simple. And uh, just quickly, I might add in a Citrus so I can show you an even better example of automation in a plugin. I don't know how that's even going to sound. That's just going to sound really shit, so I won't even bother with that. Um, but yeah, that is automation there. And uh, oh, actually, no, I'll show it. I'll show you it with the parametric equalizer. There we go. In the piano roll. So what I'll do here is just as the piano is, as the snare is booting up. And I'll go back to normal. So I'm in pattern 9 again. I'm just going to press record and move it back a bit. And watch what I do. That's our 15 minute timer. And that's what I've done there. There's my automation and there is my value there.
and I can fine tune that using the paintbrush, which fucks it up anyways, or I can use the pencil tool, which I've forgotten what the shortcut is for, it's P, and that'll stick it to the graphs. And if I watch this, when I take, turn automation uh, recording off, and you'll see it move. Grand, isn't it? Ah, so that's the end for this episode, episode 3.1. We covered everything, so we're not going. There won't be a 3.2. Uh, look forward to episode four, where we're doing some more automation. Uh, live recording and other sort of shit like that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode 4.1. Farewell for now.